I think the challenge of Dakar is different for everybody. It is such a grueling thing. The goal of Shakedown is for us to dust the cobwebs off a bit and get behind the wheel. With an open face, I don't think it's going to work. I had to take the nose piece and all of mine and they still don't fit in. They're very small, the opening. Yeah, I can try that either way. So Shakedown for us is a couple of reasons. Firstly, the cars have just arrived maybe on transporters or air freight or something like that. So we need to just run them out and you know check that everything's all good. It's also our opportunity to get behind the wheel again. And you know we maybe haven't been driving for a little while, been out of the car. So for us, it's a good way just to refresh everything and, and get that feeling back. Uh, and then also in terms of the car setup, it's also an opportunity to make any adjustments or any changes that we want, uh, depending on what the terrain's like of the event or where the test road is, we can yeah, just make sure that we've got the car handling the exact way that we want for when we go out on stages. Yeah, a little bit of fine tuning and things like that is, is normally the goal. So it's a systems check for, for our mechanics and engineers and all that as much as it is for us. For us too though, yeah, it's about getting out there, getting comfortable. You can go home that night, you can rest easy knowing that we've done everything we can. Yep, we're ready to go. There was one like little sort of step down yes. and you could feel it, it did crash out earlier. The Maverick is just so much fun. So impressed with, with how capable the car was. This road was good because it had a lot of technical dunes, which for me is, is good to, for me to spend time in there. But there wasn't a lot of, you know, the really fast, hard packed, rocky roads. So I didn't want to change too much in the car because if I made the car really good for here, then I knew that we would suffer when we got to the rocky roads. I mean, you're never going to get, I think, a test road that covers <laughs> the whole of Dakar. Yeah, yeah, because my other feeling is like, if it feels like it's rolling a bit too much in the front, the more we open, then do we have like the baseline on the front and a bit yeah, more open exactly. in the rear? Exactly yeah. what Hopefully we're one of the fortunate ones that can show how good they are at the end of two weeks. And so it means more people coming into the deck, and that's very positive. And then the adventurers, the ones that start without assistance, 34. Being the first female from Australia, I think it's really cool for all the young girls in Australia that um, can, can watch the coverage back at home and, and see that this is a possibility for them. I mean, the opportunities to do Dakar has always been my dream. It's not necessarily for me being about the first female to do it. But I think from a broader perspective, um, you know, it's really important that we show young girls what, what is possible. So from, from that side, it makes me really proud to be able to hopefully help maybe a young girl feel more comfortable in pursuing something that she loves. The biggest thing is that mindset going into Dakar because I don't really know what to expect or what necessarily will be the best mental preparation until I'm in there and doing it. So there will be times when it will get tough and not, not trying to expect you're gonna have this breezy run through for two weeks. I don't know, I feel like for some reason I have less nerves in cross country rally and I don't really know why. I think the challenge of Dakar is different for everybody. The most daunting thing for me is to bring my entire 160 people back home in one piece. In the case of Molly, it's about doing the best she can keep really being in the fight and in the hunt. It's not just about finishing, yes, we all want to finish Dakar. It's overloaded at every level. It doesn't matter if it's with press, it doesn't matter if it's on the sporting aspects, technical aspects, team aspects, just experience it. And I feel that that's sometimes the biggest challenge, the mental challenge is just let it be. She sacrificed a lot to, to get to this point. Not many people move away from their family and friends and all that sort of thing at such a young age so yeah there's a lot of sacrifices made and I think that builds a big big core behind you that helps push you on when when things become a little bit tough. Personally the race lifestyle does have its challenges you're on the road a lot uh, in these environments where sometimes you're away from communication for long periods of time and then you have all the prep and stress and all the things that go around it as well so I think it's definitely important to have the right people around you and the people that support and understand what you're doing and can help you through all of that and then ultimately just know how much you want it because you have to accept that there are things you're going to have to sacrifice and it has to be worth it to you personally. Can she be the first woman to win Dakar? I think because she's definitely got a shot. You can't really imagine it until you're in it. It comes down to who can adapt and who can not buckle under the pressure.